Hey everyone, welcome back to the graph series. I'm Sanket Singh. I'm working as a software engineer at Google. And in this video, we are going to implement the problem pre-cutting. So in the last video, we have already discussed about the approach, the DFS based approach that we are going to apply for pre-cutting. It's a problem coming from code forces. If you have not yet read the problem and not yet watched the previous video, I will link the previous video in the card section. Don't forget to check that out so that you can understand the coding implementation for the problem that we are going to discuss. So let's just start. So the input format is, format is kind of simple. You are going to get the number of uh, vertices and then for each vertice, you are going to get the associated color and then you are going to get the edges. There are going to be total n minus one edges, obviously, because uh, that's a tree. Okay, cool. So let me bring my template. Uh, let me paste the problem link once on the header. Okay. Now, what we can do is, uh, first of all, let's just uh, keep a red and blue node counter because we want to get the total red and total blue nodes that is given to us in the tree. Right. Uh, apart from that, let's just make a vector of, I would say, list of int. G. This is going to be our graph, which is actually a tree. We are going to also have a vector of int color. Right. Uh, we are going to have a vector of int color. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Right. Now we'll take the input n. Right. We'll do color dot resize. And then we are going to do g dot resize. I guess this much part is clear to everyone. We are just making the basic graph. Okay, cool. Now we'll take the input of the edges and the first the colors also. So firstly, we are going to have n colors as the input, right? So std in color at i. Cool. So what we can do red plus equal to if the color that has been given to us if that is equals to one that means it's a red color otherwise if the color at i is double equal to two that means it's a blue color otherwise it is a uncolored node this is this information is given in, to us in the input format a1 equal to one means it's a red color node otherwise if it is two it is a blue color node zero means it is uncolored so we are just handling for a red and blue color so by this loop we'll be having the total number of red and the total number of blue nodes in the whole given tree okay now we can take the input of the edges so the edges are going to be n minus one okay it's a u v Right, and we can do g of u dot push back v, g of v dot push back u. Okay, cool. And then what we are going to do, we are going to fun call a function travel from the node zero. We can keep anyone as the node zero and we'll write a function void travel int node. Okay, cool. Apart from that, we can keep one parent node as well. Why we are keeping a parent node initialized by minus one, it's a default a default initializer. Because here you can see from V, whenever you are going to make a call to DFS, you are going to call all of the neighbors. One neighbor is this node, one neighbor is this node, one neighbor is this node, one neighbor is the root also. How you can avoid this call? Either you can maintain a visited array or you can just maintain a parent variable because it's a, it's a tree, it's easy to maintain this. You can just maintain a parent variable. And if you're calling the same node who has called you, like if you're calling your own parent, then you will abandon that call, right? We can, we will, we'll see this in the implementation, but it's a very common way to uh, implementing DFS on these kind of trees. So what you can do is std pair of int comma int my answer, right? And you can initialize the answer from zero comma zero. Right, so this is going to be your pair. And then what you can do, you can iterate over all the, all the neighbors, g of node. If neighbor not equal to parent, if it is not your parent, then only you're going to call the DFS, right? Okay, so your this, I would say the travel function is also going to return a pair. 
so i am again and again writing same pair of int comment so i have already defined a pair of long long int comment i can use that so let's say this is pii and a pii again right i have already defined it in the template above hash defined pii is this so definitely we can use it right okay cool now we are going to call pii uh, i would say answer is equals to travel on the neighbor and i'll pass the parent as the node because now the node is the parent right now the node is the parent okay now what we can do we can have i would say my answer dot ff f is the first property first is i would say let's say blue right so i will say my answer dot ff plus equal to answer dot ff and my answer dot ss plus equal to answer dot ss right so whatever the subtree is giving you as the number of blue nodes and the red node that is going to be added into your answer that is the first part apart from that we are also going to maintain an answer variable that is how many nice edges you are having so how we will be able to understand whether this edge was nice or not if 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 it is having only blue color nodes no red color nodes so answer dot ff double equal to blue all the blue color nodes are there all the blue color nodes are there and answer dot ss there is no red color node that means it's a possible edge because if you are having all the blue nodes in your subtree then obviously the rest of the red nodes are in the other subtree otherwise answer dot ff double equal to zero you don't have any blue node and answer dot ss double equal to the red nodes make sense and let's just keep it as ll let's see why it's throwing an error mm -hmm. okay we will make this as ll also okay anything else Oh, okay i guess i have written the same answer so um, let's say result this is result okay makes sense right if you are having all the blue nodes if you are having all the blue nodes then in the other tree how many blue nodes you have total blue minus blue which is zero and if you don't have any red node how many red nodes are there total red minus zero that is total red and this is the distribution because if there is any other distribution like total blue minus blue is greater than zero and red minus uh, total red minus red is also greater than zero then definitely that's not a nice edge so this is going to be always the condition for the nice edge right okay now uh, we have also added uh, this to your answer and now we will also check the color we'll also check like the overall color right so if you have explored all the neighbors you will check if color of node double equal to one then my answer dot ss plus plus else if color of node double equal to two then my answer dot ff plus plus right and uh, then we'll return my answer okay this is going to be one part and then what we are going to do we are going to std c out result is this making sense so let's just go through the code again you have initialized your answer for the co corresponding node of for like the root of the corresponding tree that you are traveling you are going to go to all the neighbors if the neighbor is not the parent you are going to make a call in the call of that subtree you are going to get the value of the number of blue nodes and the red nodes in that subtree and because you have already traversed that subtree you have calculated about the fact that all the edges in that subtree whether any of the edges nice or not that is already calculated now you need to check whether the current edge was nice or not how you will check if the current edge leads you to a subtree which is having only blue nodes and no red nodes then definitely rest of the red nodes are present in the other subtree of the, at the other side of the edge cut so then we will add one to your answer otherwise if it leads to you it it leads you to an uh, i would say a component that is only having red nodes no blue nodes 
then also you are going to have one of your one of your answer if it led you to a component which is having some blue nodes and some red nodes then definitely other part is also not going to make any difference so we are not considering that and then in order to return the answer to your parent you need to also add your subtrees blue nodes and red nodes into yourself make sense and then you are going to check if the color of the node is one that means red you are going to do uh, increment your red counter otherwise your blue counter and then you are going to return the answer so this code is going to work completely fine now you need to see now you need to see what is the time complexity of this code here you can see that in this code you are going to touch each node once not more than once and you are applying a dfs so uh, you are going to use the uh, call stack space you are also using some space for storing colors and all but like the overall call stack space is going to be used so the time complexity is going to be order of v plus e in our case e is going to be n minus 1 v is going to be n so the overall complexity is order of n n plus n minus 1 is order of n right so we have we are able to solve this in order of n n was 10 raised per 5 this is going to be an easy submission so i hope that uh, you guys understood what we wanted to say with the problem how, how you can use dfs in these kind of problems i hope that the problem was intuitive enough and you were able to understand how you can apply dfs in these kind of problems so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about all of the videos that we are going to release on this channel so till then uh, stay tuned for the next video i hope uh, we'll meet very very soon till then take care guys bye bye have a great week ahead and love you all